G'day and uh, welcome back to the channel. So uh, <clears throat> today in this video, I just wanted to give an update of um, where I'm at with the railway. It's been, I've been a few weeks since I posted a video. Uh, the last video was the uh, video for the, uh, the Good Shed, which as you can see, really hasn't progressed too much. Um, I have given it a, uh, its first coat of paint, as you can see, um, and glued the uh, two pieces on at the top ready uh ready for the uh, rooftop but other than that nothing's really really happened uh, i just got a notification today that uh, york model rail have finished the uh, windows um and are shipping them over uh, as we speak so i imagine that's going to take um, a couple of weeks to get here um but uh, since i've been waiting on that to um to finish that building i also got on with uh making the uh the little Station Master's house. And again, at the same time, I've ordered the windows um, to kill two birds with one stone. I have done, got all the roof bits um, for it, all, all prepped, ready as well. Um, so they're, they're all ready to go. Um, the external uh, uh, garden wall area is all done. And again, um, followed the same principles as the uh, good shed in terms of how I went about making it. Um, I didn't feel the need to uh, create another video for that because it's same same. Um, the doors are custom made from some very very small thin plastic. You can see. Um, so yeah, so there's that. So um, on top of that, um, my desk is a bit of a mess. You may be able to see a bit here because what I've done in the background, I'll show you in a second is uh, I've started all the, the, the hills and everything using Sculptor Mold. And I've also, last night, created my first rock, rock mold. Um, never done it before. So that was a bit of fun to see how they turned out this morning. Um, <clears throat> I've also been trying to get the plans for the, um, the, the signal box, but unfortunately I couldn't get the plans and someone suggested that the, uh, the, the signal box is pretty standard across the line um, and I should just uh, look at the uh, um, ratio uh, Midland signal box. Um, so I went ahead and bought the uh, ratio signal box. The thing is with this um, is slightly larger than um, the one at Crosby Garrett. Crosby Garrett is actually a smaller signal box. Um, this has four windows across the top as Crosby's got three. So I'm going to uh, bastardize the, um, I don't know if you can say that word. Uh, I'm going to uh, basically use the bits on here that I can use and, um, and actually create, create the signal box I want. There's a lot of good detail uh, that I can take from this, um, but I want to actually get it looking like the uh, one in the photo um, and, and get it get it spot on so uh so yeah so um i'm going to jump onto the uh the, the boards now and i'll walk you through all the little bits and pieces that uh, I, i've been doing okay so just a quick quick look uh first um that's what it currently looks at but we'll get to that so uh one of the first things i had to do is finish off um this wall this retaining wall um so i did this exactly the same as i did the station uh, i got that finished off and then also the uh, wall down here uh, on the platform that was, uh, although it was finished, it all needed painting and everything. Um, at the end of the platforms, I did the stone, um, the, the stone walkway area to set to go across the tracks. Um, that's actually some um, Slater's plastic card. Um, I think it's um, o, uh, OO scale, um, which actually kind of works out. Um, really well for the um, just the stone flooring um, to go across. Um, I also did the cutout for the uh, signal box that's going to sit in here. Um, what I'm going to do for this one, I just uh, it's just plastic at the minute, is actually going to use um, loose um, stones to create a, a stone wall around here because uh, looking at the photo. And you see it's um it's it's fairly loose um uh, large stone so i'm going to see if i can recreate that in this space um and the same actually goes for the um 
the lead up uh, to the bridge. Uh, there's a, a loose stone wall, uh, as you can see from this photo. Um, uh, so I'm gonna do the same, same thing. Um, so yeah, so um, getting on to the scenery. This was the first time using the uh, Sculptor Mold. Um, uh, interesting to work with. It, it actually dries fairly quickly, so you gotta move fairly quickly. Um, but also it takes a long time to fully, fully dry. Um, this bit down here, as you can see the different, the different colors. This was actually done yesterday, about 24 hours ago. So this is after 24 hours of drying. Uh, the same at the back, you can sit, see where it's thin. It's uh, already dried, but where it's a little thicker, it's taking some time to dry. Um, uh, yeah, I'd like to say interesting um, to, to work with it. Um, Luke uh, Tawan makes it look a lot easier than uh, it is, but um, it, was, it was fun. Um, but as you can see on the back on the image, um, I have got some splatter marks and everything. I, this was the first board I used, so I tried to negate that by then putting tape on, but as you can see then the tape pulled off the image. Um, so we've got a bit of a damaged image. So uh, I think I'm gonna have lots of trees along the back kind of hiding, uh, hide, trying, to, trying to take the eye away from those issues. Uh, and because the boards are uh, they are separate boards so for trans transporting. I'm trying to get the lines, uh, the joins as smooth or as good as possible. So they, you know, you can take them, put it away. Um, and so it's not as noticeable. Uh, I'm trying to have it as not as noticeable as possible. Um, yeah, so uh, the boards, uh, so far I've got a 25 pound box of this, um, uh, sculptor mold and I'm pretty much all the way through it. I think I'll have enough to I'm gonna have enough just to do this end. I'm gonna try and finish this bit off. <clears throat> One of the rock molds on the table I'm gonna sort of put in here so it's kind of got a cliff face and look a bit more realistic rather than the hill that just suddenly comes off the edge. I think that would be much better. Um, and yeah so I'm trying to what I, what I was gonna do is just do the three boards, but I figured I, I really need to make sure I've got the joins all correctly done. Um, and that way um, I can just focus on the three boards. And then when it comes to finishing off these boards, at least the joins are already um, sm uh, smooth and, uh, and up to date. So that's pretty much, um, <clears throat> that's pretty much it as much as I think. I have cleaned the track uh, and run the trains. I'm having a little issue with the trains. They're kind of juttery as it goes along. It's not as smooth as it was when it first first got it. I have cleaned the track. I bought a new rubber to clean the track. Um, I've cleaned the wheels of the train, but uh, which did certainly uh, improve it. But it's not as good as um, uh, as I would like. Um, one of the things, um, just going back to this wall. I have to go around the other side. Hopefully you can see it. <clears throat> One of the things on this wall that's not really showing too much, let's see if we can zoom in. Um, on the photos in C, um, it's quite white. So I've tried to replicate the whiteness on, on, on my walls. Um, it's probably not gonna stand out as much with the, the white sculptor mold, but I think once that's all grass and everything, it will, it will pop a bit more. Um, also with the sculptor mold, you see I've, I've got it on all this all the walls that I've done, uh, I did tape it off. I did try to go careful um, with it, um, but it, it did get everywhere. So there's a little bit of touch up works, but um, I, um, I'm pretty happy with the result. Um, things I'd do differently. Um, like I say, the back screens, I'm, I'm a bit disappointed with the back screen. Um, so I, I, I've been trying to think of how I would have done the back screen separate maybe done similar to what I've done here is you have a, a separate board that then backs up but with that then would have been it had to be trimmed and then adding the backboard to it um, maybe something to think of in the design process um, for future future reference um, but yeah we've got the uh, stream stream wall going in there stream two streams coming in at the back um, I've got a building to go in there the, uh, what it, when it was soft, I kind of pushed down for the station master's house to outline where that's going. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I've just got to, on here I've bought the, 
uh, smooth it road system from uh, Woodland Scenics uh, to create the smooth area um, over the tracks and uh, for the good shed. Um, but first of all, I'm gonna actually do a very thin layer of the sculptor mold in this area, so I don't have to use so much of that. Um, but pretty much that's, that's where we're at uh, for, the, for the layer. Um, I hope you enjoy the video, um, and next time I'll uh, hope to show you uh, part three of the construction I'm finishing off of the good shed, um, which will also include the uh, finished product of the Station Master's house. So um, yeah, that's uh, on the table, ready, ready to go. If you would like to continue to see the progress of the model, be sure to subscribe to my channel and like the video. I'll see you next time.